Hello everyone. So for this video, we have our sheathing on our first low framing. And now what I want to do is I want to put uh, top plates or bottom plates. I want to put in uh, the second floor framing and maybe if I have time, put some wall studs, uh, exterior wall studs. So, so let's get going. All right. So first you want to do, you want to let's click on the sill plate because we want to copy the sill plate and it's going to be our bottom plate that's going to go on top of the sheathing so let's click on this click on this guy if you hold down shift and then on, on the mouse so if, if your mouse has a has a wheel you can hold that down and you could rotate the model all right and if it wants to behave you could click on the other sill and that's sill now we we have all the sills that we or the plates that we want and we want to copy this to a different elevation so hopefully if i hopefully i could do this um let's see ta -ta, you go to copy And I want to paste this, but I want to paste this align to select the levels. Crap. Uh, let's, let's just let's do foundation for now. Let's see what happens. So it's gonna go to the foundation. That's okay. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, because if I would have picked the first floor, it's gonna, it, it, the plates would have been pasted. At the same location as a sill plates, and I don't want that. All right, uh, let's see if I could find those sill plates. Uh, you can see them right there. All right, just highlight the bottom. And you can see the sill plates They're in the incorrect location, but that's okay. You know, see this right here is a little filter. We we'll click on that, and we want the structural framing that is our sill plates hit ok the reference I still want this to be the first little framing plan and I want this to be uh, la 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 1.5 inches 1.5 inches apply hopefully it works so right there we have our sill plate boom where it's supposed to go okay and whenever it wants to fix itself, maybe not, whatever, it's being uh, stubborn. We have our sill plates. So now what I want to do is I want to copy this framing plan and have a second floor. In order to do that, you uh, go to where it says uh, elevations on your project browser. You go either click, you could click east, north, southwest. I'm gonna go with east. And where it says floor, first floor framing, click on that, left click it, right click, create similar, and we're going to create an elevation. Boom. I'm gonna call this uh, second floor framing. Click up. Sure, that's fine. Let's change the height or the elevation of the uh, of the second floor framing plan. Let's call this nine feet. Boom. Now, when I go back to our 3D model, we're going to highlight the framing here, the first floor framing. We're going to go where it says copy, copy to clipboard. Then we're going to paste this. I'm going to align to select the levels. I want this to be on the second floor framing plan. Hit OK. And right now it's thinking and it's going to place the first floor framing in, and have a copy of it on the second floor. So all the, all, the, all the hard work that we did doing the first floor, you know, paid dividends because now our second floor framing, it's all set. 
if the second floor framing is similar to the first floor framing. Of course, you can always make adjustments to the framing plan, second floor framing plan, but this is good for now. Okay, so we have that. Uh, we have our bottom plates, we have our top plates. Our top plates are usually uh, two. So what I will have to copy, make a copy. Let's see if I could do this. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's go to where it says front on a 3D model. And for some reason, my 3D is not working. I don't know why. When I click on it, it's not doing anything. So we kind of have to improvise, which is okay. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna highlight over here. Let's make sure that I got all of the joys of the plates that I need, and I think I, I do. And it would be nice if I could click on the front, but it's not behaving. I don't know why. You know, let's create a, another view. It's pissed me off. Duplicate view. I don't know why it's, it's acting up, but whatever. There you go. I don't know why that was doing that. But it's okay. Boom. We have our, our top plate. We're going to copy. And we're going to copy this straight down. Boom. So now we have our two top plates, we have our single bottom plate, and now we could have our studs. We could put our exterior studs. So go to the elevations east. Let's see how much. Uh, let's go to annotate, align. Let's go to the bottom face of those top plates top face of the bottom plates so that's seven feet and a, and a half inches so let's create a single stud here so to do this let's see if we could go to our first floor framing plan we're going to go where it says structure we're going to go where it says column Let's see what we have. We don't have any wooden members for columns. So we're going to go to edit type. We're going to load. Go all the way down where it says structural columns. Where it says wood. Click on that. I'll give you guys a second to catch up because I'm going kind of fast. And then where it says dimension lumber. We want to click on that. And let's pick our 2x6. Click OK. Click OK. And now we're going to place this 2x6 right here. Whenever it decides to do it, it's going to put in our 2x6 stud. There you go. Now, I don't know where the stud is located. I don't know where it is. So let's highlight it. It says our base is foundation. And then our top level is first floor. I don't want that. I want this to be first floor and I want this to be second floor. Our base level is first floor. Our top level is for, uh, second floor. Second floor framing. All right. Now, let's go see this section right here. Let's move this. Cause I want to see what's going on. I want to correct this. Bring a viewport up. As you can see, if I highlight this, the column is going, it starts from the bottom, literally on the first floor framing plan. And the top is at the second floor. And I don't want that. So we have to make some adjustments to this stud. So where it says annotate, go over here, 
I want my studs to go down here. So that, that's a foot and an inch. So click on the stud where it says top level. Excuse me, when it says top offset, go there and just put in negative one foot and one inch. Hit apply. That's where I wanted to go. That's good. And for here, for the top, I mean, excuse me, for the bottom of the stud, uh, I wanted to go 1.5 inches. Hit apply. And it's good. That's what I want. So now that I have that, I could make copies of that stud. So we go to the first floor framing. Uh, click here where it says thin lines. And now we could make copies. So we go over here, type in 16 inches. And it should make a copy. I don't know why it's taking so long. There you go. Hit a skip a few times. So we're, we're making our studs, our exterior wall studs. So I could literally cop, uh, click on that, hit copy. Make sure that multiple is, uh, you click on the multi where it says multiple. And let's make some copies of this. And it's taking so long. Here you go. And so on. So you're going to continue this until you have your wall studs all around the perimeter of the house. So hold on a second, guys. So now that we uh, it took me a while, but I mean, I, I was able to put all the studs where they're supposed to go. Right. So we have that. And then we go to our 3D model to see how it looks like. And that's how it looks like. So we for this video, we put in our bottom plate. We then put in our top plates. We copy the first floor framing system onto the second floor. Now we do have a girder here that I could always take out because most likely the what uh, an architect might do is they have some bearing walls. Well, now they won't have this big girder because then you have to support these girders with some post downs. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. All right. Hope you guys. I hope you guys learned something and uh, see see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>